With so much to do in Black Desert, the Worker Empire can be huge and includes a lot of moving parts that you can earn a lot of passive income as you play throughout the week. Fish are no different with the many ways you can make money using workers, but did you know they could package all those extra fish for massive amounts of money? Welcome back to the channel all about life skilling. My name is Teddy and today I'll be showing you how to start using the Fish Factory to start making millions throughout the week using dried fish. So if you didn't know about the Fish Factory or you just want to know how to start using them to make a nice amount of money, get on those fishing boats and let's head out to Port Euphoria to get those fish factories set up in Black Desert Online. Using workers to gather the fish needed to make those good feeds or any seafood dish with cooking can accumulate a lot of extra dried fish. These can either be listed on the central market to make a little bit of money or these can be packaged and traded for a lot more money. This can easily be done with any of the fish factories around Black Desert but why package the fish and trade them in? Depending on the fish traded depends on the fortune that can be made, but fear not. Most of the fish that can be gathered using workers for cooking also has a chance of giving a dried yellow grade fish such as grunt or tuna. These fish can normally make a nice amount when traded at a normal trade manager or traded to the Imperial Delivery NPC. But because the workers can only gather dried fish, they can only be cooked, sold to other players, or traded in. Dried fish can save the value or increase it in the storages unlike the fresh fish while active fishing, but let's talk about where some factories are and which ones to consider renting. Location, location, location. This is going to be important when choosing where to trade your fish crates in. Do you want to trade in Valencia? Or do you want to trade in Port Rat? Distance aside, let's go down a couple locations to choose. Starting out in Euphoria, out here is one of the better choices with being close to the fishing nodes and provides multiple factories to rent and start packaging your fish. Port Euphoria 31 has three floors with a factory on each, making this easy to quickly get multiple different fish crates. This will cost five contribution points total to rent and three workers. The next place on the list is Grana out here in Comisilvia. There is two fish factories here at Grana 7 and Grana 14, which cost five contribution points each and can be leveled up, allowing one worker to make five crates at a time. This has the highest distance value when trading to Port Rat or Valencia. Another option would be Arahaza Town out here in the desert. There is only one factory here costing three contribution points and will require one worker. This is great for trading to Port Rat for that added distance. A couple spots to mention would be out here in Velia at Velia 1, room 3. This costs one contribution point. Lagia Farm here at Bellinos 3, 1. This will cost two contribution points. And lastly, Tariff here at 2, 1, room 1 for another contribution point. These aren't the best factories to choose, but do provide a different selection of fish that can be packaged. Once you get a location and your fish factory, now it's time to start getting them packaged. It will take 10 dried fish and 1 blackstone powder for 1 crate. When using a level 2 factory, it will take 50 fish and 10 blackstone powder to make 5 crates. But with needing so many dried fish and not being able to act a fish fast enough to keep those factories going, using workers to fish is the best option here. Of course, using artisan goblins would be the fastest choice and I won't bother mentioning all the skills to help speed up fishing. This will take anywhere from 1 to 2 hours depending on which node is chosen and how far away it is. One thing to keep in mind when choosing nodes are the fish provided. The first two fish are usually the cheapest fish, but you do get more followed by the lower fish being valued higher. The fish at the bottom of the list will make the most, but are rarely dried, making the lower grade crates able to make more than just waiting for the nibbler or the tuna for the crates. But onto the nodes, choosing Circa is the closest to Port Euphoria and is needed for all the fish drying nodes. There is one fish drying rack here, but provides a nice amount of mullets and scorpion fish for those crates and a lower amount of flying fish and porgy to be used for those higher valued crates. Next is Randis Island. There are two fish drying racks here, with the first providing a huge amount of dried sorrel and dried big eye for crates. The moa moa is gathered at a slower amount, but can be used for the crates too at a higher amount if you have a couple thousand stored. The octopus is great when crated up in Velia, but that also requires a massive amount to be stored up. The next drying rack here provides more big eye and scorpion fish needed for crates, not to mention the John Dory for more valued crates when you store enough. 
Moving on to the next node is Bez Island. This is further, but provides a nice amount of mullet and sorrel. There are a low amount of octopus that can be gathered, but sadly, a very, very low amount of nibbler, which is one of the highest valued crates. Taking this node will increase the time needed by almost an hour, but over the course of the week can provide thousands when using an artisan goblin. The last node to consider would be Bearder Island. There are two drying racks here with drying rack 2 being the focus here. This rack provides dried mullet, flying fish, and dried big eye for crates. Choosing this is great with all the fish being able to be crated, but the distance is further making it like Beza Island. Jumping over to the Balanos Sea area has a couple nodes to consider if you choose to. The first node is Divino Island here. You're able to gather a good amount of skipjack and striped fish for crates with a lower amount of surf perch. Another node to consider is Paratama Island here. The fish drying rack here is able to gather the striped catfish and surf perch easily with a lower chance of getting nibblers. This is further out of the way and will slightly take longer to have workers fish here though. These aren't all the nodes for fish, though these are some to consider, but once you have all your fish, it's now time to get those workers set up for those fish factories. Getting those crates made up can be done easily, and a lot can be done throughout the week using workers. These can range from goblins for the fastest, but need the most time and care, to giants with less food needed, but takes more time to crate. For this, I personally choose the goblins since they are the fastest here, and I actively play allowing me to make more and more crates, but to help speed this up, using artisan goblins will be the fastest. These are great if you have a lot of dried fish waiting to be packaged. If you're creating the fish faster than you can fish, using a human or a giant should even this out some. Using the fish packaging skill will increase the amount of crates that can be made by plus one. If using the skill in Grana, these can make six crates per cycle instead of the five, or two crates anywhere else. This can be a hard skill to get, but the skills can be changed if you don't like the ones you already have. Another skill to have are the thrifty skills for a chance of getting fish back when crating. This skill may have a small percentage, but does help keep a stockpile of hard to get fish longer throughout the week while your workers fish for more. Stacking the thrifty skills will help the chances of returning the fish back when packaging, which I suggest using goblins, but if you're using slower workers, any speed skill will help. Having a worker empire can be as simple as placing a worker on a node and forgetting about it, or it can be as complex as you make it with so many cogs turning. Using the fish factory is just one of those cogs with the ability to make millions of silver throughout the week while you're doing nothing. Be warned, just starting out the fish factory can cost a good amount of contribution points and shouldn't be seen as a way to make a billion a day. This is just another way to have your workers make passive income, gather cooking ingredients, or just gather fish to sell. After playing around with my worker empire and just getting my fishing operation, started, I found a lot more that can be done and hope to see with all the changes made just how much the fish crates can make when traded out in Valencia or Port Rat. One more thing, this is not meant to be the best fishing node guide, nor is this a way to show you how to instantly make billions. This is just a fun way to show you how I set up my fish factory, keep them running throughout the week, and you should just enjoy the game at your own pace. If you want to hang out with me and just chat, you can always find me over on Twitch Monday to Friday. But if you enjoy life skilling and want to level them up faster, or just want to learn how to make more money in Black Desert Online, click this video here and I will catch you guys in the next one.